Consider the following 100 sets of 10 elements each. 1 up to 10, 11 up to 20, 21 up to 30, dot, dot, dot. The last one is 991 up to 1000. How many of these sets contain exactly two multiples of seven? All right. So we see that these numbers, these sets, are from this huge set of first 1,000 numbers. This is a partition of these 1,000 numbers into blocks of 10 numbers, right? The last block here. And we have 100 of these blocks, right? Subset, subsets. And each of these blocks contain either one or two multiples of seven. So each has one or two multiples of seven. And that's because we have a group of 10 consecutive numbers, right? The first seven would have a multiple of seven. And the, the last three, we may or may not have a multiple of seven. Okay, so suppose A of them have exactly one multiple of seven, and B of them have exactly two multiples of seven. So what relations do we have between A and B? Well, since A and B considered of all the blocks, there are 100 of them, right? A plus B is 100. Moreover, if you count the number of multiples of seven, that would be A times one, right? A of the blocks have one multiple of seven and B of the blocks have two, so two times B. This is the total number of multiples of seven, number of multiples of seven up to 1000. And we can calculate that as 142. As a side note, it's good to note that 1001, it's always good to know this, 7 is 7, 11, 13. And uh, so this is 7 times 143. So the previous 142 multiples of 7 are in the interval 1 to 1000. Okay. Then you want to find B, right? How many of these are have exactly two multiples of seven? And to do that, we, we multiply, we subtract the first equation from the second equation, and we get B equals 42. 142 minus 100. So the answer is B.